Hi everybody, this is Melina from the Scrapbooking With Me Boutique on Facebook. I'm here to let you see my January kit creation, my January kit from the boutique. Um, we had the Kaiser Craft Key to My Heart collection as our kit this month. And let me show you a few things that came in the kit. You got the notables or the, you know, die cut shapes ephemera pack in the kit. A pack of keys. I've already used one of them. And then here's a sample of some of the papers that are in the kit. This one I didn't get to use, but I will use it on a scrapbook page. Here's the sticker sheet. I used a few borders from that. And this chip or cardboard. Um, well, it's not really even that. It's not as thick maybe as chipboard, but anyways, it's cardstock stickers. That's what I'm trying to get out. Uh, that sticker sheet came in the kit. And then here's some of the little three by four cutouts with the design on the back. Some more three by four cutouts. Um, this plain cream paper, but look at that gorgeous blue on the back. And sorry I didn't do this before I made my mini album. <laughs> You're having to look at my scraps that are left over. Um, this pretty blue with green in it and some script. And then that pretty blue on the back. The roses and then green on the back more roses and this was this is a border all the way around the 12 by 12 and it has a huge pretty rose um, bouquet at the top of it really pretty and this with polka dots on the back more roses and this had more little designs and some script writing in it too this, I love this, the postcards and old handwriting Paris theme. And this was on the back, and this border was just along the bottom of it. And then it had this script paper on the 12 by 12. And then this, isn't she cute? I showed you the that while I go with it's got the polka dots on the back of it, but I wanted to show that. She's darling. Okay, and then you also got um, two sheets of 4x6 cutout um, individual paper, but I used all of that inside my album, so I'll just have to show that to you, and I won't be able to show you the back of it because I backed all of my 4x6 cutouts. <laughs> so, sorry, I don't have the design for the back of the 4x6 cutouts. Anyways, um, first off, let me say, on this mini album, I should have used a bigger O-wire with my Bind It All. It, it's kind of wonky, but I knew it was going, I knew the album was going to be very thick, but I still didn't go out and get bigger, a bigger O-wire. And we are now carrying O-wires in the boutique so you can go on over there you if you've got a zutter bind at all we have the o-wires for you so you can get the o-wires in the boutique now um anyways i should have used a bigger o-wire because it's kind of bulky in the back you know where it, um you do the back cover on top and you close it and you do your o-wire well the back is kind of bulky so I should have had a bigger one. So to kind of cover that up, I'm all about masking and covering up things. On this, I put some hemp twine and um, one, an older button from Stamp It Up. Put that there and I threaded it through the O-wire quite a few times and then went through the button 
and did a bow with the hemp to kind of disguise the fact that it's kind of bulky and I should have used a bigger OR. <laughs> um, on the front, I used one of the borders here. Um, the lace came in the kit. Uh, this is from the um, cardstock sticker sheet. And it's one long thing and I just, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. So I just, I like that saying, that phrase. So I just cut it where I wanted it and kind of spliced it together. Here's the key that I used from the pack that comes in the kit. Uh, also, the flowers and leaves came in the kit. The little swirly came in the kit. Uh, little buds also in the kit. Um, these buttons are from Stampin' Up. I just thought they went really well with the paper and the embellishments that I used. <clears throat> um, these, if you could tell, they are a little shiny, shimmery. And... The way I did that was I punched paper out from the collection with my one inch circle punch and then got my handy dandy tweezers and pulled up an epoxy dot. You can get these in the boutique. They are in the bottle cap album in the boutique. The epoxy dots, these are one inch dots. And I picked the epoxy dot up with my tweezers, had the designer paper, little circle, one inch circle, and just put it behind it. Um, before I put the circle behind the epoxy dot, I inked around the edges with Tim Holtz tea dye. All through my album, I used either the tea dye, see here, I used tea dye. I either used tea dye ink or the antique linen. That's my two Tim Holtz inks I used. And I, my antique linen is about gone, and I just ordered a refill through Scrapbook and Women Booty. <laughs> ah, plug, plug, plug. Um, I also added some flat back pearls here just to kind of fill in the holes because you could see the lace through there and so I just decided to mask cover up a few little areas. So I did that. Um, the cover is that plain uh, cream paper that I showed you earlier, this, I had that on the back, that, and then another piece of the pattern paper on top of it. Um, to let you know dimensions, the covers are five and a half by seven and a half, and the pages are five by seven, okay? So that's my dimensions and on the inside, oh, this I got from my friend D on Facebook. She has DK Crafts. She has all kinds of little doolollies like this and I just love this one and I'm not really a uh, shabby chic kind of girl so this album is way out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Uh, but I love this. I love pearls. And so this pearl flower embellishment was awesome. So anyways, I got that from D at DK Crafts on Facebook. Okay. Now we open it up and let me tell you a little bit about my little magnet. I have these little magnets and I didn't get a strong enough strength. And so by themselves, they would not stick. So, I have a little trick for you. If you have magnets that will not hold, get one of your 
little sticky dots okay put it on the back of whatever you're wanting to stick down not here on here okay and then you're thinking oh that's gonna be so sticky I'm not gonna be able to get it off and then this will tear exactly so what you have to do is when you get it get your sticky dot on there use your and I've already put it up here we go use your Prima distressing tool or any distressing tool you have if you don't have this one you can get this one at the boutique but use your Prima distressing tool and go over that dot quite a few times and rough it up okay so when you touch it I mean it's sticky but it's I mean it's just barely tacky okay that way it's gonna stick to your magnet but when you go to take it off it's not gonna be like you know trying to get it off it's stuck it's not going anywhere but it's a little it's not as tacky as when you first put it on that way you don't tear this off and tear up your album and all that stuff but you can still use the magnets that are not that strong that way okay little trick all right inside cover with the pocket I um, used eight in, uh, an eighth inch uh, score tape put around the edge I cut this with my curvy cutter very very old and dusty sorry I apologize for that uh, cut it with my curvy cutter they no longer make these I don't know another company might but that company that I got that from a long time ago doesn't make it anymore anyways cut it with a curvy cutter and inked around the edges and put it on and made a pocket this is uh, four and a quarter by six and a quarter and then the pattern paper is four by six so made little mats for both sides okay um, all right first page it's a pocket page all the pages are five by seven so I made the little pocket and then each little insert is from the pattern paper <clears throat> from the collection um, the little four by six cutouts uh, all the little inserts for my pockets are from the four by six cutouts and then the I just matted it with some craft cardstock four and a quarter by six and a quarter I left the back blank so that we do journaling or whatever on the backs of them okay so there's my first insert and then each page on top has more inserts another pocket so the first one I'll show it to you it's like a gatefold these are seven inches long so they would stick out some at the top and then I gate, used the gatefold technique and I put the one of the three by four cards on the front of each one of the folding pockets top pockets so this is a way that if you had the project life you could use up your four by six and your three by four cards that come in your project life stuff so I made those and put the very vanilla cardstock on the inside from Snap It Up. And then I cut circles for the tabs to pull and done a half circle on the inside. And then on the backs, I did a full circle to cover up that one. And then did another circle to go along with the paper on the opposite side. So that those that first pocket on the front let me get it back in there okay and then second page another pocket 
with the four by six cutouts. And you saw that insert. Okay, next page. And you could journal on this side and then put your picture on the other side, whichever way. And I used the ephemera pack on the bottoms of each one of these pages. Okay, this insert. Okay. Next page. I like this one. It's like a little postcard. I thought that was very cute. So you could journal on it. What about what your picture on the back is going to be about? And then a little envelope from the ephemera pack. Roses, roses, roses. This collection was full of roses. Beautiful. And that little ephemera cut out. And then this gatefold pocket booklet. <clears throat> there we go and now I made six pages double-sided and so you know the four by six cutouts are going to repeat so here's a repeat but I did different um, pattern papers to go along with them when I started repeating okay little chubby angel <clears throat> oh I forgot to say here I used a border punch with um, some of the craft card stock and put on each one of the the tops of each one of the pockets this insert In the back. And then the next page. More roses. Okay. And there. Another insert. <clears throat> and then this top insert I love you not because of who you are but because of who I am when I'm with you now on this one I messed up a little bit when I was putting on my card sock and then when I scored it and folded it it didn't but I think since the whole album is kind of distressed that kind of gives <laughs> has the distressed look too so anyways I made a boo-boo on that one well there we go okay next page both angels so they get to kiss <laughs> so two angel pages next to the last love little postcard from the ephemera pack and then last top insert in the back Okay, last page is the postcard again with some more ephemera and then <clears throat> the back and see this is what I'm talking about it's a little wonky it's not perfect back here oh well back um, is another pocket with the wavy cutter and the insert or a photo mat double-sided okay then 
the back cover. See, it doesn't close exactly right. Oh well. Okay, there it is closed. Now, back cover, I just left pretty plain. I wanted it flat. And then I used one of the beautiful pieces of um, pattern paper from the collection. And then for my ribbon closure, come around and I used um, score tape to fold it over a few times. And then I hot glued the ribbon to the back and then used the epoxy dot again and another piece of the pattern paper inked around the edge put it on and then I put the epoxy dot on here with my glue dots the little black glue dots put a few of them on the back and put it on like that okay that's my back cover my wonky binding <laughs> And then standing up, this is what it is like. Get all of those pretty even standing up. Okay. Inside, there's a glue string. All right. That is my January creation. For the January kit from Scrapbooking with Me Boutique. Thanks so much for watching and please leave a comment or a thumbs up or anything. I love hearing back from you. If you have any questions let me know and I will try my best to explain it to you. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.